everybody and welcome back to vlogmas day 24 today i am going to show you guys what i have gotten for christmas so far and before i start i always say this just in case but obviously this is a privilege that i have that i have a family who can get me gifts and i do appreciate them and you know i do give gifts back and i want to <laughs> show you guys maybe towards the end some of the gifts if my family will let me because i know they don't want to be on camera too much but um maybe i can see if they will let me show some of the gifts that i got them at the end but i do want to say that i'm really privileged for all these gifts and i'm really thankful for them but i do want to show you guys because i know that's what everybody loves to see on this channel is all the stuff that i get to show off so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so today the first thing that we're going to show on today's vlog is something that didn't turn out the way it was supposed to <laughs> so something that you have to understand with ordering figures anime figures especially around the holidays is which ones are real and which ones are fake bootleg one and my poor mom got swindled for at least this figure i have like four figures in total but this one this was a swindle this is a very obvious <laughs> bootleg see if i can focus her hello very obvious bootleg card captor sakura as you can see it doesn't even fit in the stand and you can tell right away because the stand is in this kind of bootleg shape this is almost always going to be the bootleg stand shape and as you can see there's a bunch of different holes because it's meant for a bunch of different figures she doesn't fit she's got oh can i can i show hello camera it's not really focusing but as you can see there's like details messed up the face is a little wonky i wouldn't say it's too too bad it's still trying to focus on me hello hello anyway yeah also her little wand is right over here and i have no idea how you're supposed to put it in there just because the angle of the hands is really weird but yeah she is the first thing that i wanted to show she's a little cursed can't even get it on camera she's so cursed because it is a bootleg but you know it's pretty from the front it's more of along the back where it's not as pretty so i'm okay with it like it's not like too big of a deal i've said this before but i don't mind getting bootleg figures as long as they look decent you know like if they're like really gross like that miku one that i have over there which we don't speak about um <laughs> as long as they are you know kind of presentable i'm okay with a bootleg but the next three are not bootlegs <laughs> this one mm, i don't fully know but i'm going to say that it's not a bootleg but this is the may cafe sailor moon figure i wanted this figure for a very long time i think this one might be a bootleg just because i thought it would be a little bit bigger but yeah like it just it's very small it fits in the size of my palm but it is still a very beautiful figure so i'm not too too mad with it she's in a little parfait she's a maid i want to make this outfit by the way it's one of my favorite outfits but there's her and then we have a better sakura who is not a bootleg this is one of those k pasque pasque don't know how to say it those kind of figures with her little cloak card wand in the background so yeah this one is very beautiful and very happy with this one and we have one more figure and this is probably my favorite from the entire bunch the stand is a little wonky on it i do know that i checked the stand and the stand is um the correct one for this so it's not a bootleg it doesn't look like a bootleg so that's good but <laughs> this is the wonderland miku i'm guessing it's just dogs <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's supposed to be like Alice in Wonderland since it's Wonderland Miku but yeah here's a bit of a close-up I really like the detail on her dress where it kind of has like the Roman numerals around the bottom and it kind of looks like a clock but it's like Cinderella 
and the clock kind of together. It's a very, very beautiful figure. This is probably the prettiest Miku figure that I have so far. I have the bunny one and the bunny one is kind of broke <laughs> because it is a bootleg, but the Miku one we don't talk about back here. That's Sakura Miku that I got from Khan. That's a story time. But yeah, this is probably the most beautiful Miku figure I have and it's not a bootleg. I hope. Okay, next, uh, let's do, let's do clothes next. So this is something that I got today as well. This <laughs> is a, um, let's go, Disneyland food kind of sweater shirt because I've never been to Disney World. I always want to go to Disney World. I've always wanted to go to either park. I don't care. I just want to either park. There's other parks, like just the one in America. But I've always wanted to go to Disney World, Disneyland, Disney somewhere, and it's never been feasible. So I got this in hopes maybe when I'm a little bit older, I can go maybe with my auto group. We talked about that. We talked about maybe taking a trip down there if we ever got invited to like a con or something. I don't know, but yeah, we were thinking maybe one day we could go to Disney. So yeah, I have this in advance. This next thing is something that I want to try to embrace this year, which is more Lolita-esque fashion. This is just like a tubey kind of top or like, it's not a tube top, like it's over your shoulders, but it's like a little frilly, frilly top and bottom, kind of like a cup top. It's very, very pretty. And I really like Lolita stuff. I just, it's expensive. So I haven't really gotten into it, but I love the frills. I love the lace, I love the bow. I love the baby doll look. So I got these. Next, my mom thought it'd be funny to get everybody a shirt that had schnauzers on them because we have three schnauzers. And uh, if you have seen any of my vlogs, you guys will know my dogs are my life. And so I can't get the tag off of this, but this is the shirt that she got me. It's got a schnauzer, like a heartbeat on it. It's very cute to wear around the house, probably go to the washer, the washer, the grocery store. What am I saying? I'm tired. And then we also got some knee-high socks. I'm not gonna pull them out because they're neatly packaged, but these are up to your knees, a little bit above. Kind of like, they're almost like thigh highs on me because I'm short, but yeah, these are some socks to wear around the house. Next, I'll show you guys the thing that I already know that I got because my mom accidentally spoiled it by asking me to purchase something for her Amazon and I saw this in there and I was like hmm so yeah my mom got me the first five five volumes of Love is War. It's one of my new favorite series. I really enjoyed watching the anime, especially with the, uh, I think it was the hour long scene where they can fest and stuff. And I'm, I know there's more and that's why I wanted to get the manga because I want to finish it. It's weird, so I had to end my video for a second. But yeah, anyway, she got me the first five volumes because I want to get up catched up on this series. I really love it. It's really good and I know there's more to it and I know there's like scenes that it didn't get um, animated into the anime and so I want to read more of it and so I got it. Finally it's here. Even though I've known about it for like maybe like more than a month. Next, she got me some like little fairy lights where you can like hang like, you know those Polaroid kind of lights where you have the clips and you can hang stuff? She got me some of those. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I was thinking maybe I could do something with like my bookshelf and these lights. We'll have to see in another video if I ever get up to doing that. And next we got a card captor Sakura. This is actually a game and I have no idea how to play this game because the manual is all in Japanese, but it is the clo cards from card captor Sakura. It's the Sakura cards. And so if I open it up, you have like the actual cards from the show. What's that one? That one's the big. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of them in here and it's a card game. It's like an actual game. like. 
this manual is all in Japanese so I can't read it but I don't know I kind of like just having the cards and displaying them I don't know that I really play them as a game because I don't want them to get bent or anything because I want to display them and probably use the cards to like I don't know cosplay or something like that but I do have the deck and I thought it would be really cute to like have Sakura like in front of the deck or something and have that behind it'd be really cute on display This next thing, I know my mom knew that I wanted this because I have talked about these for a while, but I'm not gonna take them out. But these are the Sailor Moon makeup brushes. You can see, I know there's a glare. I don't wanna take them out because I'm not gonna use them right now, but they are the brushes with all the Sailor Scouts little colors and the wands, you can see it kind of, yes, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely needed new makeup brushes, and there was a couple that I needed duplicates of, so now I have that. This one my mom got me because she's like, you need to get rid of that stupid little mirror that we got you like three years ago. It's like a really crappy plastic mirror for my makeup that I use. And so she got me, oh, that's the wrong side. Uh, this one, which is a bigger mirror that actually lights up. And she's like, you just need to get rid of that dinky like $10 little mirror. Cause it's like, it's falling apart. I'm looking at it and it's, it's just falling apart, but I use it all the time. But yeah, she got me this, which I have not opened it yet. I took a peek at it. I haven't got it out because I do probably need to set it up and put some batteries in it. So we'll do that another time. This is something that I've wanted for a while as well because if you guys know I really like princesses and like royal kind of things and so I wanted a crown a crown to go over with my like princess section of my room because if you guys know I'm a big Connie Glenn fan and so I have all of Connie's Rosewood Hall Chronicle series and so I was like I want to put a crown over there so I have a crown and I have a teacup and I think they would look very pretty on like a little like princess inspired sort of like shelf and I want to get more crowns like this one's very pretty so you can see, hello, very shiny, very pretty. There's another one that I want, and so I might actually become a crown fanatic, but I really like them, they're really pretty. And if you ever feel sad, just put this on your head and you won't feel sad. You'll feel sad with the pretty crown on your head. <laughs> and then she threw in some just like, like $1 little uh like face masks and stuff because I've started to get more into skincare recently I don't know it's just it's something that's helped me with like I don't know getting myself back on track because I told you guys I've been going through kind of a mental funk recently so getting into skincare has really helped a little it's helped a little you know it's giving me a routine to kind of stick with and I think that's really helped my mental health so that's very good and I will use those and the last thing that we have is something that my brother got me, which is a little like unicorn uh, slipper set with some like pretty lotions and nail things and rhinestones in it. So yeah, this is all of the things that I got for Christmas. I'm probably going to get some like gift cards and stuff tomorrow maybe, we'll see from my family who's coming tomorrow for Christmas dinner. This was just gifts from like my parents, my brother and my grandma. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Let me see if I can get other people to let me film the gifts that I gave them. And yeah, I mean, you guys know, if you've already watched Vlogmas, you know, but I still want their reactions. So yeah, if I can't get that, bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you.